Hi guys, Mayflom here. Now, I make no secret of the fact that for the most part, I do not like pigment ink pads and I really don't have any use for them. There are a few exceptions and the Simon Says Stamp white pigment ink pad is one of the very few that I have here. So pigment ink pads, unlike my beloved dye ink pads, they're more of a foamy type surface and it's a different ink formulation. It's good for certain things. They just don't tend to be the things that I use ink pads for. And I think that's very important for you to remember that how you use ink pads is going to determine what ink pads are good or bad for you. So it's a very juicy ink pad. One of my issues with all pigment ink pads is that I really do have to clean them after every use. And if you know me at all, I don't love to clean my stamps. So it is, I do, you know, wash it down and it is easy to clean off. It doesn't take that long. Uh, so that is something that's always just going to be for me and, and my pigment ink pads. So once stamped onto here, it will stay wet for a minute. If I was to run my, you know, I can, I can make it smear right now because it is still wet. I tend to like to heat set whenever I use pigment ink just because I am not a patient person and I am famous for doing just that and running my finger through stuff. So I like to hit it with the heat tool a little bit to dry it off. What I like about this white ink pad is it does show up really well on dark cardstock on any on any surface and it stamps really nicely. Another thing that I'm really liking about this is that I can use it and stamp it. You can see how much ink gets in there. Um, and that's, I mean, part of it's me. I'm pushing, I push too hard, but um, that's just always going to be something when I use this one. I have to clean my stamp off, which not a big deal. Anyhow, it will stay wet longer. Most dye ink pads you cannot do this with, but with a pigment ink pad, you absolutely can, especially this Simon Says Stamp white one. This is my favorite thing. I use this white ink pad with white embossing powder. Why? Well, I like to use this white ink pad with white embossing powder versus clear embossing, regular embossing ink, because if any spots get missed, if some powder doesn't stick somewhere, I've got white ink right there. And I love that I've got a couple, I've got a minute or two to, you know, get the powder on there and it really sticks well and to me an ink pad that is has multi-purposes in this example that I can use it by itself or with embossing powders to me that is a very it's a very good thing especially in an ink pad and I like you know you can see it here on dark cardstock I'll do a, I'll do a little flourish stamp I like having something that is going to give me a really beautiful, crisp stamped, ooh, I don't want to heat set my stamp, a nice crisp stamped image and that is really easy to use. I have abused the heck out of this thing for about the last, what, six months, year, quite a while now, and it is still going strong. So it's a very high quality product, definitely one I recommend if you're looking for a white stamp pad. Here's the one I would recommend. Until next time, I wish you very happy crafting.